Well, good day, Glanth here. Welcome back, and thanks for checking back in again. On this ride, I take the Indian Challenger about halfway around Australia, covering about 9,300 kilometres over 19 days. We didn't ride every day. We had some downtime along the way in Darwin, Alice Springs, and South Australia, but we also had some pretty tough riding days, you know, covering up to 800 kilometres on some days. On this ride, I was accompanied by some very close friends of mine, Lorne on his street glide, Diana on a sports glide, and Dave on his heritage. No major dramas on this trip. The heritage had a blown front fork seal. I lost a bit off my pannier. That's not a fault of Indians. Um, Dave did manage to hit a massive red kangaroo and managed to keep the bloody heritage upright, thank Christ, and only did a little bit of damage to his bike, which we were able to straighten out on the run. Generally, we had some pretty good weather all the way, temperatures varying from 5 degrees Celsius to 35. Um, we only had one really bad, shitty day of rain, so very lucky we were. I hope you enjoy this one. Drop me a message if you have any questions or comments. This will be the last one I do for Australia. I'm back in Thailand for three months. And if you haven't already for subscribed, for Christ's sake, then do so. Happy days. Well, 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 good morning, day one. Just on my way to meet at the first meeting point where I'll pick up Diane and Dave. We're meeting Lauren later in the day. Yes, David, myself and Di are just heading up over Cunningham's Gap. Very thankful that it's not raining, although the roads are wet. Not much traffic on it either. This can be a friggin' treacherous road when it's really wet and trucks up down here all the time dropping diesel. Lots of red light stops here where the road's been washed out from the recent floods. There's more rain coming too, that's what we're running from. We've just arrived at the Nindy Gully pub. Lorne and Diana have never seen it so. It's only a few k's off our path, so here we are at the famous Nindy Gully pub. You may remember I did the thing about 12 months ago here on the pig races they run here for charity. There's Lawn, the mate Lawn sitting there, we're just having a quiet beverage, as you do. have about 37 kilometers to get to St George. We just stopped in at the Nindigilly pub. How could you go past that joint? Uh, famous out this way for a quick run. Guess we'll be having another few rums tonight at the Australian Hotel where we're staying. Just heading over the weir, over the Boulogne River, exiting St George. It's quarter to eight on the Boulogne Highway. Be heading north up to Mitchell and then to our final destination of Tambo today. Beautiful clear day. We're trying to stay ahead of those horrible rains that are coming. Fingers crossed. Friggin' cold. As we always say, harden up, cupcake. We're on the St George Mitchell Highway. I think I need to change my jocks. Just had a very fucking close call with three kangaroos straight across the road in front of me. Normally I try and accelerate out of the way, but this time I broke hard. Thank Christ I did. Missed all three of them together. Very, very close. Here we have a typical caravaner. Fucking useless motherfuckers they are. Here I am, down the centre of the road, this stupid prick goes. We 
we are now in between Morven and Augathella. 80 k's to go to Augathella. Long, straight roads, road condition pretty good, 110 kilometer hour zone. What you've got to watch here is not only for roos, but for emus as well. I just passed an emu literally standing on the side of the road. He could have gone either way. Fortunately, he went off, not on. Oh, I think he got him. I think it's Bluey. Oh. I think we might have got that. We had last night's winner, two in a row now, the lovely Baku Blue. Good morning, day three. Uh, we're in Tambo. We did about 510 kilometres yesterday, no rain. It's about another 500 up to Winton today. Uh, it's not a bad ride. We should avoid the rain. Apparently the heavy, heavy rains may come in this afternoon or tonight. Uh, it's 14 degrees. I don't know if I said that or not. I'm a bit hazy this morning. Not that I had much to drink last night at the chicken races. It's about 10 minutes before 8 left Tambo which I've got to say is a really cool little town if you ever get the opportunity to call in there it's you know it's just fantastic anyway we're heading north um, Blackall will be the next little town we run into and we'll stop in Blackall uh, hopefully to have some breakfast um, the other guys and die with me they're a bit like me we like to get an hour under our belt on the road in the morning and then stop for breakfast breaks the day up a bit from riding. Uh, a lot of the roads on this trip's going to be like this bastard in front of us. Long and straight. But in its own way, they're quite interesting. Um, but that's, you know, Australia. Big distances. We're just passing through the little township of Ilfracoom. Really cool place. Can't see it, but on the right-hand side here, there's hundreds and hundreds of pieces of old machinery, tractors mainly, bulldozers, steam tractors. We had more time, we'd stop here, but take hours. We're about, I don't know, about 27 kilometres south, well, actually east of Longreach. Look at these old trucks here on the right hand side. This is friggin' cool. We're rolling into the very famous town of Longreach. Um, up there on the right, you can see that big structure with the tail of a Qantas 747. Uh, you can refer to my previous um, videos on this where I actually covered off the Qantas Museum on the right and the Stockman's Hall of Fame. Very icon famous Australian places. Stockman Hall of Fame is there on the left, you can't see it from the camera. Qantas Museum is here on the right. If you ever visit Australia, these are two must-see places in the outback. We'll only be stopping here for fuel and we'll keep going. As you can see, the sky's getting really dark. That rain's coming. We've still got about 200 kilometres from here to get to where we're going tonight, Winton. Should miss that rain, but I think we're going to get smashed tomorrow. In Winton, we did about 500 k's yesterday. Uh, nice, easy ride. Um, problem is, Queensland has been expecting the big wet. Um, and it's arrived. We thought we might outrun it, but unfortunately not. Pretty ugly out there. So... We've got to do what bikers do, we've got to ride in the rain. Don't like it much, but hey, that's what riding's about. This vision here is from Dave's dash cam. We're at Walkabout Creek Pub, and guess what? They've closed the highway. Oh shit.
We're at the Crocodile Dundee Walkabout Creek Hotel, obviously made famous by the Crocodile Dundee movie. Um, we weren't going to stop here, but we've been forced to. They've got the road closed because of the rain. So that's how much rain they've had in the last 24 hours. Okay. So this is the famous Walkabout Creek Hotel, eh? So you reckon we can detour across to Julia Creek, do you? Yeah. Single line that's sealed. Sealed, okay. That's our choice. So the owners of the Walkabout Creek pub have told us to cut out to Julia Creek and then follow that and then before we get to the intersection about 20 k's go left to divert the road closure. Happy days, not. Dave's dash cam again. Uh, this is the road between Walkabout Creek and Julia Creek, about 80 k's of single lane road. Uh, pretty good nick. We've gone through a fair few water crossings and not too bad, not too deep. And then we've come up on these cows, this herd of cows. They won't get off the road because it's so wet on the edges. They sink about a foot into and they literally will not get off the road. So Dave's had a guttle and looks what he does. 7 a.m. We're at the inland oasis. What a shithole, uh, nothing works, bloody filthy dirty. Anyway, what else can I say? Just don't stay here if you get the chance in Mount Isa. Um, big day today, we lost a couple hundred k's yesterday because of the rain, got to do 800 today. It's supposed to be fine. Radar shows nothing and I'm standing out here in the open and it's fucking raining. 7.20, we got away, it's cool. Slight sprinkle of rain. Glad to be getting out of fucking Mount Isa. It's next stop, Camerwheel. It's a couple hundred k's, fuel and breakfast. We are rolling into the little township of Camerwheel. This is on the far western border between Queensland and the Northern Territory. We'll go down here and we'll fuel up, have a bit of tucker. Done about just shy of 190 kilometres so we deserve to stop and have a coffee at breakfast. We're coming up to the Queensland uh, Northern Territory border here. Done 200 k's this morning since Mount, we left Mount Isa. Just going to pull in here for a photo. Yeehaw! So we've done about two and a half thousand k's in our trip so far from when we left Brisbane. Uh, something like that. Uh, we're now on the Queensland Northern Territory border. Happy days. Have a look at this. Northern Territory's got a reasonable speed limit. It's a buck thirty, dollar thirty, so 130 kilometres an hour. Needless to say, you can make some reasonable time through here. We're on the Barclay Highway. Heading due west in the territory. We are coming up to what's called the three ways. The three ways we're on the Barclay Highway and we're going to turn right onto the Stewart Highway. We've been heading due west and we're going to be turning right and heading due north onto the Stewart Highway. We'll be stopping another couple hundred k's. We'll be stopping at Renner Springs for the night. Um, and then heading further north after that the following day. We are rolling into Renner Springs where we're going to overnight here. We've done we'll have done about 775 kilometres today. Big distance, we've had enough but it's easy k's, easy kilometres doing 130 clicks an hour and a bit here we go we're at the Renner Springs Night 5 Renner Springs Resort Hotel Caravan Park pretty cool place really nice people 
needless to say, we're just having a few beverages, of course, after a long night today. There's so many places, you see so much more. 775 kilometers today. Yeah. So we can't work out what actual date is. It's day six or seven or something like that. I know we've done about 3,000 k's. We're at Renner Springs at 7 a.m. in the morning. Beautiful day. Just packing the bikes. We hate this job here. We're out in the desert in the middle of the Northern Territory. I'm going to ride up to Mataranka and then eventually Cap Heading north out of Renner Springs. Do 200 odd kilometres and stop for breakfast at Daly Waters, which is an interesting place. Once again, speed limit along here is at buck 30, your beauty. Need to watch this time in the morning, need to watch for kangaroos and they're big bastards up here, they're big reds, they're not greys like Queensland, they're big reds. It's a pretty cool place where at the Daly Waters pub. And these horses play yeah. chilling into this way. Right. just rolling into Catherine. We stopped at Mataranka but that turned into a bit of a clusterfuck frankly. The top of my pannier bag that goes round the lock disappeared in transit somewhere. No one saw it come off. We're heading out of uh, Catherine. Uh, what day is today? Friday so day seven going out to the Catherine Gorge and have a bit of a gander around there for a couple of hours and then after that we'll be heading up from there back to Darwin. We're doing a tour of the Nitmaluk which is the Aboriginal name Nitmaluk National Park. Um, commonly known as the Catherine Gorge. We're steaming up on a tour boat up the Catherine River as we speak. In the wet season this flows out to the ocean but in the dry season it's 13 different gorges. Simply stunning. Sandy beaches coming up on our We are going to be coming past a few of these beaches throughout the tour. Keep your eyes peeled crushed up and mixed with things like animal blood, fat, orchid sap and water. And the really cool thing about that These paintings are 20,000 years old. Now there were another couple of film of movies that did some filming out here in the gorge. One did some of the view up the gorge, gorge number one as we're standing back to the starting point. Beautiful, magnificent place. We are just exiting Catherine. Just been to the Catherine Gorge. Beautiful. About 280 kilometres up to Darwin now.
National Park and it's taken a couple of days off in Darwin. It's about an hour and a bit to drive south. This is the Wangi Falls. Um, it's beautiful. I don't know why they won't let us swim here. This I've been swimming this before. It's just fantastic. But anyway, we're going to move on here up to Florence Falls to see if we can get a swim in there. That's gorgeous. So this is Florence Falls, this is another part of Litchfield National Park, about four or five sets of falls in here. Uh, this is a, a great one, this water hole actually open, we just went swimming down the top spot near the end too. So we're at the Mindel Diva. Markets, uh, setting on Mindel Beach in Darwin, in the top end in the Northern Territory of Australia, <laughs> watching the sun go down. Jesus, it's a tough life. I don't know how I do it. Going down the Mary River, looking for crops. It's part of the Kakadu wetlands. Well, normally grows to about three metres maximum, and he would be three metres, and stops growing at that point. They live for up to 50 years. And then and the jacana. This is a great bit of road in between Jabaroo and Pine Creek where we'll be stopping tonight. Unfortunately for me, my mic cord broke and I won't realise it for about another week. <laughs> Day 12, it's real early in the morning, we've got a real big day, so we're getting away just before sun up, got to be real careful of ruse. Renner Springs down to Alice Springs today, big ride. <laughs> friends thought they'd have some sport with me. Don't know when they put the L sign on, but apparently it was there most of the day without me even noticing it. So we're stuck in Alice Springs for an extra day waiting for a fork seal for the Harley. So we head out to Stanby Chasm, and then after that, it was suggested to us by the bike shop that we head out to the airport and see what was hiding out there. Wait till you see that. All up 150 k's for the day. Well, holy dooly, I hope we can see this. We're in the centre of Australia in the desert and I can see Singapore Airlines. I can see Silk Air, I can see 
Una Cathay Pacific. I can see Dragonair. I can see Scoot. Holy shit, there are big aircraft parked here everywhere. They say over a hundred have parked up here. Until COVID's finished, this is where they'll stay. We're about 30 kilometres or so north of Woomera, which we'll probably stop at the rocket base there. And we've come across this lake, Lake Hart. By the colour of the water, I say she's salt. Huge lake in the middle of nowhere, in the desert. So we're at Woomera. This is Australia's centre of aerospace or Stuff you can see there's all sorts of drones and rockets and stuff here. Pretty cool. Unfortunately the museum is closed. There's another place down here that we But we'll go to the heritage centre down the road here in a minute. Pretty cool spot. In Australia we're working on some stuff with the palms here, I think. That's pretty cool, eh? Mm. You don't realize what's inside of them. Mm. That's an antique and that's Well, there you go, about 30 emus. Each of these weighs between 30 and 40 kilos, by the way, just casually strolling across the highway in front of us. That's what I keep saying, need to be bloody careful. So we're at the hotel in the underground bar and they just cut the rock out of the machine, out of the ground, and I've got to tell you, Pretty cool place. <laughs> to ride approaching sunset because this is what can happen very lucky it was a big roo a big big roo that <laughs> So this is what happens when your dopey mate hits a fucking seriously large kangaroo, but you've, right got a, yeah, but you've got a smart uncle that can actually help sort you out. So with a hand winch, we uh, tied it to the back of his truck and dragged it forward. Fixed for the time being. We'll get him home anyway. Lucky boy.
across the Hay Plains, not a tree to be seen. Heading directly into the sun, unfortunately. It's still only 10 degrees, so it's quite chipper. As I said yesterday, you can see why they call it the Hay Plains. Flat, flat, and flat. So we've got something big happening up here. Uh, oversized, but it must be massive because there's several police cars, many, many, many um, pilot vehicles. So we're just waiting to see what happens here. Yeah, I'd call this a wide load. What the speed he's doing? We're heading north into Coonabarra Brand where we'll be stopping the night. We're about 20k south of Coona now. This is a vastly different road to the long flat roads we've been on. This is quite nice. Not in bad shape but lots of corners for once which is good. Well, 7am day 19 last day it's passing through the middle of Coonabarra brand on our way home we'll be home tonight be glad to get home but it's kind of sad finishing up a big ride too it's the end of our 19 day 9300 kilometer ride many many thanks to my mates Dave Lawn and Diane Fantastic ride, guys. Can't wait to do it again. But always remember, people, life can be ever so short. Therefore, live life today.